is our little company area right here. We're giving you guys a free tour today. We're looking around to see some of the equipment we'll be using inside, see some of the weapons we have, and then we've got a little brief set up for you guys upstairs in the conference room. So uh, I'll be around if you guys need me. I'm Lieutenant Nick, Sergeant Major, Sergeant Tech, we'll be out here, and uh, Sergeant will be Murray. We'll be running this up upstairs. If you guys have any questions, just look for one of us, and uh, someone will be able to answer your questions directly. comes undone, they put all their explosives in there, nice put it right back on there, and then they just screw it back down to get a lot of pressure on there. And then they conceal it, but they, they're starting to stray away from these because our metal detectors are picking them up because it's all metal, as you can see. Uh, then over here, we have a uh, Italian landmine. Um, it's fake, obviously, but um, they use these in Afghanistan too because you can just put one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. have an observer over yeah yeah the, well there's there's many different types you have uh, your, your victim operated which is a, basically essentially a pressure plate which is two pieces of plywood with some springs and then the positive and negative. latest I heard when we were in Afghanistan the average uh, IED costs about five dollars to make in that country so and you know, and if they have a successful strike on the United States forces or any kind of uh, forces in Afghanistan, they get paid like fifty, sixty dollars. So they make one, they make enough to make ten more, and then the, the cycle just keeps going. We use the Atlas tripod when you're in a prone position and firing downrange. It, it's used to eliminate.